Okay, um, we're just about to the boiling point. As you can see, back in the corner here, it's starting to boil a little bit. So uh, I'm just keeping a close eye on it because if it gets too hot, it's going to boil over. And uh, I just don't want a mess on my hands. But um, when you get to, to the point where you don't have boil overs anymore, that's actually a good thing. Uh, that's uh, what I understand to be the hot break point. And that has something to do with bad proteins going to the bottom or something like that. I don't know. But you want to hit that point, And what it does is that foam will start to go away and you'll start to see a good rolling boil. And uh, when I hit that point, that's when I start my timer for my hop addition. So you see right back there now, it's really getting going. So any moment now, it's going to start to really get boiling here. So I need to make sure that uh, I don't have a mess on my hands. So um, in the meantime, while that's getting to that point, uh, over here, I have my hops. And um, I was going to measure it a little bit differently, but it's a quarter ounce for sure. Um, a quarter ounce is what I need to add. Let's put this one on there. So this is going to be a part of my first hop addition. Um, and that will start my, my hop schedule. So see there, 25.25 ounces. That's my first hop. So that's going to be going in once this starts to boil. So um, I'm expecting it to do it any moment now. Um, if it takes a little long, I'm going to cut it off and come back when it gets going, right when I do my first edition, which it looks like it kind of is. So I'll be back. Of course, just as I turn the camera off, it started to vigorously boil. So um, you'll see here, I'm starting to get some boil over. So what, all you got to do is just turn the temperature down a little bit. This fire is very hot, so it doesn't take much to just calm it down a little bit, and then you can kind of slowly work with it. But what I'm going to do now is add my first hop. This is a quarter ounce of my mixture that we shot before, so I'm just going to add that. And I'm going to start my clock. So, starting now, we have eight minutes until we do our next hop addition, making sure that we don't have any boil overs. So, uh, I'll update you on each of the hop additions as we go along, so we can see how this thing is shaping up. Okay, coming up to our next hop addition here. So, let me kill my timer. Get my second round of hops right here. Add it to the boil. See you in eight minutes. Well, actually, not really. I'll see you in probably in about five seconds. But I'm hanging around for eight minutes. All right, time for another hop addition. This is our third one. I notice when I put the hops in there, it tends to want to boil over. So just keep an eye on that if you're deciding to try this at home. Notice, see how it starts to foam up. But it, uh, it just stirred a little bit and it tends to calm it down. So anyway, that was our third hop addition. Eight more to go. All right, we're ready for hop addition number four. All right, what comes in for four, number five. Okay, I'm at hop addition number six. And by the looks of it so far, this is turning out to be really nice. It has a good color and it has a really good hop aroma. So we're about halfway there. All right, we're getting there. We're at the seventh hop edition. And everything seems to be looking really good at this point. I haven't had any boil overs or anything. And the smell is, is really, really, uh, really hoppy. So, if you're a hop lover, this beer might be for you. So anyway, that was our seventh, so um, we're going to keep on going. 
Okay, here we are at our eighth hop addition. Um, now, in addition to adding the um, eighth hops, um, I'm also going to add some Irish moss. Now, Irish moss is typically used as a clarifying agent, uh, whatever that means, but uh, I've always added it in previous um, batches that I've made and it's worked well. So. Um, it's supposed to go in towards the end, the last 15 minutes or so. Um, so we're about that now, we're at about 18 minutes left, so I'm going to throw that in. And reset the clock for the next hop edition. Okay. Okay, we're at our ninth hop edition here, and um, our ninth hop edition. We have two more to go after this. So what I'm going to do is uh, set up my wart chiller since there's two hop editions left, uh, and what that uh, what we're going to do at that point is try and rapidly cool this down to 75 degrees as quickly as possible. Uh, the, the risk is where you're at the range of 140 to 155 degrees, I believe. Uh, during that time, uh, that temperature range, you're susceptible to picking up contaminants in your wort, which we do not want. So um, during this next two hop additions, I'm going to be getting that set up so when we get to the end of the boil, we'll be able to quickly do that. Okay, we're almost there, at least on this part we are. Uh, ten top edition. Um, here it goes. We have one more to go. Um, I've set up my wart chiller, uh, so all we got to do now is wait for the end of the boil to come and then we can chill this. And let me give you a close up of this. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the eleven hop editions that we have. It has a nice boil to it. Uh, it smells fantastic. It almost has like its own mixing going on there. You'll see it bubbles from one side and then bubbles from another. So it, uh, it's been doing this the entire time. So I'm really pleased as to um, how this has turned out so far. Um, I've lost some water. It was up to that ridge there. So some has evaporated. Um, I think I have about six gallons in here now. Um, I wanted to have at least five, so I definitely have a surplus, but that's okay. Uh, what I want to do now is turn the heat off and place this, which is a wart chiller, in there. And I have a unique setup in that over here, I have a ice bath with water and ice in it and a cooler with a pump. Uh, it's a standard um, pond pump or aquarium pump. It's going to pump the cold water through this to see if we can rapidly chill this. You can use your garden hose and just run water through it that way, um, but this might work a little bit better. Uh, it's an experiment. I'm going to see if it works, but uh, let me get it set up and we'll turn it on and see what it looks like. So hold on. <laughs> 